How long have I been in the tri-state area and what keeps me here? Um, I've lived in Evansville my whole life. I was born at St. Mary's Medical Center. Um, obviously family, friends, jobs, kids, all that stuff is what's kept me here. Um, I now have in-laws and a whole second family as well, um, even though my family have all moved out of town. Uh, but that's what keeps me here. I also like the area for the most part. So. What are a few of my favorite things about the area? Um, first and foremost, I think I like the fact that we are a kind of what I call a, a little big town, um, not the country group. No, um, I like the fact that we have a lot to do because uh, we're big enough, but we also have that like kind of small town mentality where everybody kind of knows everybody kind of feel. Um, so your neighbors kind of watch out for you you know, they help take care of you, that kind of thing. So I really like that. I also like the fact that you can get anywhere in town, even if you're on the complete opposite side of town, in 20 minutes. Gotta love that. Um, so I also like the fact that up until recently, I didn't even know we had so much variety, but uh, we're blessed with lots of um, wildlife in this area and a lot of um, parks, preserves, things of that nature that uh, I spend a lot of my time in and we're, we really are lucky uh, to have such a variety here. Um, not all areas of the country actually have this much diversity in, you know, a small area. So uh, I really like that about the Evansville area as well. What got me into photography and uh, how long have I been a photographer? I would have to say my grandmother got me into photography in my early teens uh, when she gave me one of my first cameras. Um, I actually think one of my first cameras was probably like a little 110 or something like that that she'd give me a little Kodak, probably, you know, uh, point and shoot kind of deal. Um, but it, it exposed me to photography and I absolutely loved the fact that I could take a picture <laughs> and get a print and hold it in my hand. And I created that. And I just, I remember thinking how cool that was. Um, I also liked it when, probably around that same time, that same age, 12, 13 years old, my grandmother gave me a, um, an instant camera of some kind. It was not a Polaroid, I don't believe, but it may have been. Um, but I remember taking it to a skate party for my birthday and taking friend, pictures of all my friends and it was black and white, but the fact that I would spit these out, you know, and I could give them to my friends like right off the bat, I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. And uh, I think that really planted the seed to me. Uh, and so then when I went into high school, I took two years of photography classes, learned how to develop, you know, print, uh, all that good stuff and just absolutely loved it. Um, now life has a funny way of, you know, changing your priorities. And when I got out of high school, having kids and a family and all that, I, uh, you know, photography is an expensive hobby. So I, it kind of went to the wayside for a long time. Uh, on vacations, kids' uh, birthdays, things like that, I would take uh, decent pictures and people would comment. So I always kind of felt like I had a knack for it, just never really fully uh, jumped in until about three years ago. And uh, it's pretty much been Katie bar the door ever since. I'm now obsessed and very passionate about the, the hobby and the profession. Uh, so, yeah, watch out. Here I come. What are my favorite things to photograph and why do I like to shoot them? Um, I think anybody that's been following me for any amount of time realizes that my favorite thing to shoot would be wildlife um, and specifically birds, raptors, things of that nature. Uh, I also like shooting macro work in the, uh, from the insect world and arachnids, things of that nature. Um, but I try not to label myself as a specific type of photographer. I, when I first started, I was like, well, I'm a, I'm a wildlife photographer, I'm a nature photographer, I'm this or that. But the truth be known, I mean, I enjoy all kinds of photography. I enjoy taking pictures of models. I enjoy taking pet portraits. Um, I like architectural, I, I, I like photography, first and foremost. That's just all there is to it. So there's always something else to learn and I want to learn it all. So what do I feel about printing my work? 
I feel that printing your work is an absolute priority. I mean, it should be a priority for all photographers. I think it's a must. There's just something special about holding a print that you've had printed of your favorite photograph and uh, more importantly, even seeing it hanging on a wall. Um, there's just something special about it. And I think in today's world of digital photography, while it's wonderful, I think we, a lot of photographers skip that and I don't think they should be. I think uh, if nothing else, if they're not printing a large portion of the work, they should at least take, in my opinion, the top five or six from a, the past year, print them out, you know, 11 by 14 minimums, mat it, hang it on the wall, and uh, maybe switch them out each year with their favorites. So what are my goals as a photographer? And where do I see myself in five years? Um, my goal is to, at one point, make photography a, a good portion of my income. Uh, I would like to be, you know, AKA a professional photographer where, you know, over 50% of my income is from photography. That is definitely one of my goals. Um, one of my goals is also to have some work published. I've already had that happen locally. Um, you know, on a regional level, but I would like to make that a national level. Um, obviously something like National Geographic, but that's like the Mount Everest for wildlife photographers, but it's a goal. I may never achieve it, but um, if we don't have goals, we don't know where to get to. So that is a goal. Um, I'd also have a goal within five years of teaching workshops for money. I think that as photographers, a good chunk of our income comes from teaching nowadays. So I would like to be doing uh, workshops. What kind of gear do I typically use? Um, I think most of you probably realize I'm a Canon boy, uh, although I will not call myself a Canon fanboy. Um, I'm always researching other gear, other brands. Uh, I stick with Canon currently strictly because I've invested in a lot of glass. Um, so I've got a lot of money invested right now in, in all that. So I will be sticking with Canon for the foreseeable future, but at any given moment, uh, a better technology or something that appeals to me, uh, that helps me achieve my creative goals, then I will jump and head first straight into that. Do I have any tips for people just starting out? Um, join a club or a group, network with other photographers, um, watch every video on photography you can possibly watch on YouTube. I have learned so much through there, through the other um, YouTube channels like the, the Northrips and uh, Slanted Lens and F-Stoppers. And I mean, it's just a countless amount. And if anybody's curious, I'd be happy to, sh to share my uh, subscriptions to channels on YouTube. Um, there's a lot of very valuable, very good information out there, and I learn a lot through that. But I also learn a lot through folks in my local clubs. Um, you know, I don't, a lot of them are, are mentors of mine, and um, I look up to them and value their, their input and their um, experiences. And um, so, join a club, network. On a scale from one to 10, <laughs> one being I just opened the box to my first camera and 10 being I taught Ad Ad Ansel Adams everything he knows, um, I would put myself probably maybe at a seven. Um, only in that I don't think there, it's possible to ever be a 10 because there's always something else to, to learn and always new things to be learning in photography. And I think the moment that you think you know it all, you might as well just put all your gear up, sell it, whatever, and step away from the hobby or the profession because you're done, in my opinion. Um, so I'll, I'll say I'm seven. I know how to use my camera settings. Uh, I know how to use them without looking. Uh, I know the exposure triangle. You know, I, I know all the rules for the most part of composition, you know, uh, rule of thirds and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, I'd say I'm a, I'm a firm seven, average. As a photographer, what do I struggle with the most? Um, 
I would have to say, oddly enough, creativity. I have a tendency of focusing on the technical aspects. Uh, I, I'm a gearhead. I've always been a gearhead, based in all my hobbies, uh, whether it was racing cars, guitar, computers, um, anything. I've always loved the technical aspects, and photography is no different. There's tons of technical things to learn, um, you know, but I often lose sight of the creative side of it, and I need to step back sometimes and say, you know, how does this picture ma really make me feel? Um, yes, it's sharp, white balance is, you know, dead on, all that good stuff, but how does it make me feel? What's the story being told? And uh, recently, that's what I've been stepping back and, and really forcing myself to think because I've been struggling on that front quite a bit.